Hello everyone. Today I want to speak on the pressure in water. Today it is the need of the hour that we must find the alternatives for the limited resources. My presentation will be along these lines. All right, let us see. We all of us know there were some scientists like Archimedes, Bernoulli, Blaise Pascal, etc., who spoke about the pressure in the water. They studied about the pressure. I want to take you to some of the backgrounds of what they have spoken about. We all of us know, see, this container has contained water and when we have three levels as pinned out for water movement, level one, level two and level three, when we allow the water from this container to move out, we see that the highest pressure lies at the bottom because this water is flowing the farthest okay and then we have the second level second stage we find that the water level is here highest but the water pressure is the least here okay now let us speak about this graph this second picture here we see that there are various types of containers water containers and we know that the water is stable in all these containers and water's pressure is equal in these all containers see this vessel is smaller than this vessel and this vessel is zigzag but when we connect all these three we see that water level goes and stops equal equally at these three containers this proves that the pressure of the water is equal in all shapes of vessels okay now let us come back to the first graph this is what is we have seen that the topmost level has the least water pressure and the bottom part has the highest water pressure i went on to experiment it to see as to what they are saying is true or not what i found is this see this container i filled the water up till here okay and when i put a hole here and i supplied i allowed the water to move out and brought the pipeline up till here the water flow stopped okay what i was trying to experiment is another law the law says the water movement will be from highest or higher pressure to the lower side and what i found here is the highest pressure is building up here and lowest is here so what i thought is that water pressure is highest here and therefore this water way if we give the water way if we give the water to flow out if if we give the means of water to flow out or if we put the pipeline to flow out and put it this side then I thought is that the water from here will move here and come here when I join here I thought that this pressure this area is this area's water pressure is higher than this area hence I was trying to apply the law that says movement of pressure the movement of liquid will be towards the low pressure from high pressure okay so uh, let us see i have a demonstration also for you okay here we have a bottle i have filled it with water 
and according to the experiments it is said that the highest pressure will be here at the bottom and the lowest pressure will be on the top the law says the movement must be from higher pressure to lower pressure so i am making a hole here it's already made here and i am using this pipe okay and suppose if i uh, connect this pipe at the top level here connect to this water then what i guess is because of the high pressure here the water must move to top level okay like this but that doesn't happen and that's my question why does it not happen we are missing something all right what are we missing we are missing something from here to here these two conditions are not connected probably some of the ideas must be there maybe it is at the back of your mind yes maybe you, are, you have started thinking about it what is it all about that when we are when we are when we are having the practical this way water pressure is lower here and the higher here and when we are trying to move it from higher to lower level it is not moving why hope you have the answer for it okay okay let us move to next graph graph number 4 in this we can see the water is all around the place we took a vessel and just we put it into the water this vessel's structure is the vessel is vacant empty inside and we have a hole at the bottom and when we pressed when we put it into the water the water is able to gush out inside this vessel we used a pipeline so that this water is coming in and this water is coming in and just it is collected in this vessel here in the middle of the pipe we have the wings we have the turbine kind of thing that is rotating because of this water is gushing inside and this is this is the wing connected rod that helps to move around to rotate and when we connect this when we connect this rod to any generator or dynamo we can get the electricity or the elect the energy can be produced this is one of the theories which i think is a free energy theory this helps us this condition helps us to produce the electricity in the stable water itself so far we were trying to generate the electricity on the water flow but the water can be made flow if the water container is stable or water is stable or if it is a pond or if it is a well or a bore well also we can generate electricity that is what this theory tries to prove let us have some of the equipments which i have used let us have a look okay let us uh, let us see it okay this is the container i have taken okay this container is this all right the outside one and i will take uh, i will make a hole here i made a hole and i am going to insert a pipe this is the pipe which i am going to insert into it see this way okay now it has uh, it has fixed here all right now uh, this is the wing i was talking about this could be uh, a kind of turbine okay i have made it and we will insert this inside the pipe so this is the uh, the 
wing and a kind of turbine so I will insert it I have made it in a way that it can rotate okay all right so this is the way it should be now this can rotate when water enters from here this will obviously rotate it will it will rotate and hence we can connect the the electricity generator or dyna, dynamo whatever we uh, we say that could generate electricity with this rotation okay so i place it here i place it here okay this is temporary i have not uh, made it permanently but i have definitely experimented i am speaking after the experimentation okay so this is the way it should be looking like and this way and when we place this suppose i am placing it into the water like this the water will come in from this uh, container and the 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 fan or the wing or our turbine will automatically because of flow of water it will rotate and that can be used as free energy all right now we can tap we can tap the energy from this uh, this particular mechanism and that's what my presentation is obviously uh, there will be water being contained here in this uh, area when it comes out and it has to be taken out if we are making a perpetual energy that never ending energy we will discuss about it in the next video thank you so much